It's already been half a month since I got this Xiaomi 14 Pro from the year before. This video gives everyone a detailed explanation of the in-depth user experience with this camera. Uh, let's see if he can live up to the title of King of Imaging in 2024. Look closely. Xiaomi Quattro Each of the four lenses is not simple. The main camera uses Sony's latest LIT 901 inch sensor. It supports an f1.63 to f4 continuously variable aperture, while the other three have ultra control angles, 3.2x and 5x zoom lenses. The commonly used configurations are very neat. All our IMAX 858 sensors, we take the previous generation, directly compare the Xiaomi 13 Oppo with the sample recruitment to 14. Let's first look at the performance of the main camera samples. Everyone in the video sees the performance of these two phones. You might feel the sample difference is not big. Whether it's their color detail performance or the brightness and dynamic control of night scene images, there isn't much difference. It's just that the white balance of the Xiaomi 14 is slightly yellower. But if you look directly at the phones, the perceptual difference between these two phones is quite obvious. Turning off the 14 Oppo, the sky here is obviously much brighter than the 13 Oppo. Even if manually buying both phones, the brightness is maxed out. The viewing effect of the 14 Oppo is still better than the 13 Oppo. It is because this time, the Xiaomi 14 Oppo supports Oppo HDR Ultra Dynamic Photos and also records an extra set of light information within the photo. So when viewing photos, the phone will, like the iPhone, restore the brightness information of the scene to the fullest extent through the screen. Especially when looking at the original night scenes, through the Xiaomi 14 Oppo screen, you can really feel the bright and lit sensation. In addition, this time, the main camera of the Xiaomi 14 Oppo uses a dodecagon design with a continuously variable aperture. So, when the phone takes pictures against point light sources, if you set the aperture to the smallest, a true optical starburst effect will appear. This experience is quite amazing. Everyone who gets the phone must try it for themselves. Next, let's look at the 75 mm equivalent film segment of a 3.2x telephoto lens. This lens is actually very suitable for shooting portraits. The portrait mode of the Xiaomi 13 out, this time also has two new exclusive image quality styles, namely Master Portrait and Leica Portrait. Let's compare the Leica Classic and Leica Vivid of Xiaomi 13 out. In these four photos, the most stylish at a glance is definitely the Xiaomi 73 Autobot. This Leica Classic comes with a strong German flavor, and whether it's the previous Leica Sino or Leica Classic, they will add scales on the four corners of the photo and lower the background brightness to highlight the figure. And the brand new Xiaomi 14, Oppo's Leica portrait and master portrait of birds and fish before, not only cancelled the vignette, but the transition of brightness between the background and portrait also appears more natural. Master portrait's facial skin tone is obviously more rosy compared to the other three styles, giving a sense of a healthy and natural complexion. Additionally, the Xiaomi 13's portrait mode's cutout effect has also seen a major upgrade, especially in the treatment of hair, which now is more precise. For the handling of individual strands of hair, it really looks like the natural bokeh produced by optical lens. This time, Xiaomi 14's portrait mode interface added a focus length selection wheel. When you want to change the focus length, no need for a two-step clicking operation like the previous generation, this generation can be operated by simply sliding. Moreover, this time the 14's 3.2x long zoom finally supports the very practical function of long zoom macro. Closer focusing distance makes it more convenient for taking unique shots. And the Xiaomi 14 has added a special feature of how to depth the field. After turning on this feature, the phone suggests you press the shutter at the same time, taking multiple photos with different focal points to merge into a clear photo, which is the multi-fusion technology we are very familiar with before, without fusion effect, a close-up shot. It's easy, only part of the frame is in focus like this bowl of beef noodles. Only the middle is in focus. The top part of the screen is blurry, but after fusion, you get a very clear picture throughout. Finally, the five times zoom. This long zoom lens's aperture from the last generation's f3.0 has been upgraded to f2.5 this time, possibly the largest aperture telephoto lens I've seen so far. But because it's the same sensor as the last generation, so the overall performance during the day doesn't differ much. The white balance of Xiaomi 13 will also be a bit shorter. If you look closely, you will find that Xiaomi 13's telephoto aperture is bigger, so therefore the bokeh effect compared to 13 is more evident. Under low light conditions, because the Xiaomi 13's aperture is larger, it lets in more light. So in terms of detail performance, it's better compared to the last generation's 13. The traces of smudging inside this Xiaomi 13 photo sample. It's quite obvious. Additionally, this time the Xiaomi 13 series also supports 10 times zoom expansion. From our experience, it's really quite good. When you zoom in, whether it's the detail performance or the noise control, it's much better than the Xiaomi 13 series. Look at the wall detail of this 13 series. It's almost entirely missing in the photo. This time in terms of video, Xiaomi series also got an upgrade. The most practical upgrade is the ability to zoom smoothly while filming. Although it's still not as smooth as an iPhone, but it's much stronger than the previous zoom solution. And this time it supports up to 4K 120 FPS video shooting. Friends who like to shoot and use can shoot a 120 FPS video, slow it down to 24 FPS later, and thus you get a 4K video with five times slow motion. 
In addition, whether they're taking photos or shooting videos, this time Xiaomi's camera interface has an exposure adjustment shortcut button, allowing you to quickly adjust and lock exposure while shooting. For example, when taking a photo of your girlfriend, you can slightly increase the exposure to make it look brighter and whiter. While street shooting, taking basic pictures, you simply adjust the exposure and that makes the flavor much richer. So besides the phone itself, the phone imaging kit this time also has a lot of playability. The phone case supports a 67mm filter adapter, like installing an ND filter to help, reduce the shutter speed for shooting, at the same time the camera grip has its own battery. Once connected to the phone, it will automatically charge the phone. You can consider it as an external battery pack with 1500mAh capacity, which significantly improves the usage experience. After explaining phone desk photography, under the platform, long press the shutter button for a second, to quickly enter street photography mode and immediately take a snap, street photography enthusiasts rejoice. Each button on the handle can be custom set inside the phone. For example, I set this custom button to adjust the aperture. Now this machine can attach an ND filter. Use the dial to adjust the real physical aperture. Half press the shutter to focus. Press the shutter to take a photo. I'd say calling it a small camera isn't an exaggeration. Sound quality of the Xiaomi 14 Orca satellite call for everyone. I am now using the Xiaomi 14 Orca to make a satellite call. What do you think of the sound quality? So the method to send satellite messages is also very simple. After connecting to the satellite, open the text and you can choose to carry your current location information, compose the content to send and hit send. The receiver will get the message with a link to your location. Click to view your current GPS position. Now more and more flagship phones are starting to support satellite communications. This feature can be helpful in danger. It can be life-saving. Additionally, this time the Xiaomi 13 law also supports an external satellite signal booster to enhance its satellite signal. Right now we don't have this device. When we get it later, we'll show you what it's like. Finally, let's sum up the Xiaomi 14 Oppo phone. The Oppo series has always been Xiaomi's strongest in imaging. From Xiaomi 12's Oppo co-branded Leica to this new Xiaomi 14 Oppo Master Portrait, Xiaomi's understanding of imaging, uh, is indeed getting more pronounced, especially the pursuit of color tone and aesthetics. It can be said to have won a round in the smartphone imaging development. So above is all the content of this video. Not sure after watching this video, how do you think the Xiaomi 14 cross this camera performs? Would you choose to buy this machine? You can tell me in the comments and the bullet screen. Okay, that's all the content of this video. If you like this video, be sure to remember to buy one click for three connections. Best to hit a follow. See you in the next video. Bye.